What if I told you that scientists have just brought back one of the most fearsome predators of the Ice Age? A creature so powerful, so relentless, that even saber-toothed cats gave it space. Now, imagine that predator walking among us again. This isn't a sci-fi movie plot. This is real. Scientists have just cloned dire wolves, and they're alive. Long before humans ruled the Earth, North America was home to massive beasts. Mammoths thundered across the plains, giant sloths roamed the forests, and predators like the dire wolf, Canis deerus, hunted in ruthless packs. Bigger, stronger, and more muscular than modern gray wolves, dire wolves were apex predators weighing up to 150 pounds. With bone-crushing jaws and a fearsome pack mentality, they dominated the Pleistocene epoch until around 10,000 years ago when they mysteriously vanished. Some blamed climate change, others the rise of humans. But one thing was certain, the dire wolf was gone, or so we thought. Fast forward to the present day. In a state-of-the-art lab nestled within the walls of Colossal Biosciences, a US-based genetic engineering company, something extraordinary was happening. A team of scientists, led by geneticists and biotech pioneers, had a wild idea. Could we bring back extinct species using modern DNA technology? Using preserved remains of dire wolves discovered in places like the La Brea Tar Pits in California, researchers managed to extract fragments of their ancient DNA. But this wasn't enough. The DNA was degraded broken into pieces over millennia. So the scientists turned to their closest living relatives, gray wolves and even domesticated dogs, to help rebuild the missing parts. Through cutting edge techniques like CRISPR gene editing, they filled in the blanks. The result, a living genome that was 99% true to the dire wolf. Once the genome was ready, the next step was unprecedented turning DNA into life. Scientists injected the edited dire wolf DNA into wolf egg cells. These were then implanted into surrogate dog mothers, specifically chosen for their ability to carry large litters and remain calm under controlled conditions. Months later, in an undisclosed facility, the impossible happened. Imagine a creature so fierce it ruled the Ice Age so powerful that even saber-toothed cats kept their distance. And now, after 10,000 years of extinction, it's been brought back to life. This isn't science fiction. This is science now. In a secretive lab in the United States, scientists have cloned one of the most terrifying predators to ever walk the Earth, the dire wolf, an extinct beast with a bite strong enough to crush bone. And all of it started with something the size of a coin, a fossilized tooth. The dire wolf, Canis deerus, once ruled North America. Heavier and more muscular than today's gray wolves, dire wolves weighed over 150 pounds and hunted in massive packs. Their jaws, designed to crush bone. Their prey, mammoths, giant sloths, even early humans, but about 10,000 years ago, they vanished. No one knows exactly why. Climate change, disappearing prey, and the rise of humans may have driven them to extinction. But one thing was certain. The dire wolf was gone. Until now. In a dusty museum drawer in California lay a 10,000-year-old tooth pulled decades ago from the La Brea tar pits a place where thousands of Ice Age creatures met their end. To most people, it was just another fossil. But to scientists at Colossal Biosciences, it was a time capsule. Using advanced genomic tools, they extracted ancient DNA from the tooth. Fragile, fragmented, and degraded by time. It took years to clean, repair, and decode the genetic blueprint. And then, using CRISPR gene editing, they reconstructed the dire wolf's genome by combining ancient DNA 
with that of gray wolves and dogs. The result? A living embryo, a genetic match to an animal extinct for 10 millennia. Scientists implanted the embryo into a surrogate dog mother. And after a tense pregnancy, something miraculous happened. Three pups were born, white fur, piercing eyes, stronger, bulkier, wilder than any normal wolf. These weren't ordinary canines. They were cloned dire wolves. Genetic tests confirmed it. Their DNA was over 99% identical to the ancient species. They were healthy, alert, and very much alive. The pups now live in a secure facility. They're growing rapidly. One of the scientists described their howl as deep, primal, like something that doesn't belong in this time. Their behavior, fiercely independent, hyper-aware. They don't wag their tails like dogs. They watch, hunt, think. They are a predator reborn. But should we have done this? The project has triggered a global ethical debate. Some scientists say we're playing God. Others worry these creatures could destabilize fragile ecosystems. What if they escape? What if someone decides to make more and releases them? But Colossal Biosciences argues this is about saving the future, not just reviving the past. By mastering de-extinction, we can protect endangered species, restore balance to lost ecosystems, and maybe even correct human mistakes. This is just the beginning. Colossal plans to clone the woolly mammoth, the dodo, even extinct big cats. An entire Jurassic Park-style revival movement is unfolding, but this time, it's real. Could we see dire wolves reintroduced into the wild? Will they hunt in packs again? Or will they remain behind glass, a living ghost of the Ice Age? One thing is clear. Extinction is no longer forever. From a single tooth buried for 10,000 years, a legend has returned. And it's just the beginning. What do you think? Is bringing back extinct creatures a step forward for science? Or a dangerous game we shouldn't play? Let us know in the comments. And if you loved this story, hit that like button, subscribe, and stay tuned because the Age of Resurrection has begun.